Hello, Call of Duty fans, Wild Jolly here, and uh, seeing how much hate Infinite Warfare trailer it's getting, it's almost 3 million dislikes. That's pretty, <laughs> pretty impressive. So I was just thinking to myself, what if these guys, instead of going for the, you know, you know, for the full futuristic, what if these guys would have just keep going with Ghost, with the Ghost series they started? Was a ghost that bad for for them to say no? We're gonna we're gonna stop right here, and we're gonna you know we're gonna start a new series, and we're gonna go all you know space and, and all that stuff. Would it be so bad if these guys maybe just would have just you know, work around the mistakes they made with with ghost uh, to fix what needed to be fixed, to to change what needed to be changed, and and create <clears throat> a maybe better mild warfare type of game, right? Why not if maybe or why not if go towards the Modern Warfare 2 styles you know Modern Warfare 2 style was pretty good the, the you know first Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2 was pretty good, Modern Warfare 3 was eh, wasn't great but Modern Warfare, 2, Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2 I, I mean they were pretty good uh, pretty decent gameplays, map layout, guns, everything was pretty good so why not just go into that direction with Ghost 2 you know but they decided just to go with, with Infinite Warfare which is all like, like really futuristic and really going up in space Okay, that, with that being said, I am going to be honest, on that E3 2016 trailer, I thought that uh, Infinite Warfare looked good. Well, I didn't know it was Call of Duty when, when they started showing off, uh, you know, the, the dogfight in space and all that stuff. Uh, I wasn't sure what the game was. Nobody knew what, what the game was. Uh, before that, they were talking about uh, virtual reality games and showing and, and talking stuff about it. And all of a sudden, we, we got this game, and, and I said to myself, this looks pretty cool. It's in the space, but it looks pretty cool. And I guess everybody in the audience was excited as well. And uh, everybody was like, well, look at this. And like, towards the end, that's when I realized, oh, this is Call of Duty. And believe me or not, I, I thought it looked like a decent game. You know, even though space in that E3 trailer, I think it looked pretty good. The moment they announced or they showed the name Call of Duty, people in the audience were like, whoa, we're not like, like all quiet. But let's be honest, it didn't look that bad. In my opinion, it didn't look that bad. I'm not saying the game is going to be great. I'm not saying the game is going to suck because I cannot see in the future. At the moment, this commentary, we haven't seen much of the game. So I'm not going to judge anything, whether it's good or bad. All I'm saying is that the trailer looked good. And I was very impressed with what I saw, you know, just as simple as that. I, we didn't know it was Call of Duty, I thought it was a new IP, like, I don't know, it looked something like, like, Dust 514. Those of you who play on PS3 back in the day, remember Dust 514? It, it looked like weird like that, it was, it was like, in a way, interesting, but anyways. So maybe Ghost 2 could have been a bad idea, maybe not, you know. Uh, like I was saying, Marvel for 2 ideas were pretty good. Um, what made Ghost a bad game or a bo I, don't, I don't think Ghost was a bad game. I said this back then and I'm going to say it right now. I don't think Ghost was a bad game. I think Ghost was a boring game. I think Ghost was a boring game. It had boring maps and boring score streaks. Because whether we like it or not, Call of Duty nowadays is all about score streaks, right? That, that's the fun of it. Get the score streak, you know, get, 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 the, uh, get the nuke, get the chopper gunner, you know, get whatever. That's, that's the fun part of the game, you know, it used to be 357 and it used to be all about more skills rather than, you know, calling your your uh, the, the, your choppers and, and all that stuff, right? But, you know, things change and, and, and we need to move on. So, yeah, it's all about score streaks and it's all good. Okay, so bring us good score streaks and I think that's a problem with Ghost. The, uh, Ghost, the Ghost didn't have any good score streaks, they just sucked and it was pretty boring. So what if maybe they just go in, 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 in the direction of Mile Warfare 2, AC-130, a maybe better version of the Chopper Gunner and, and, and all the stuff, I think it would be like a, like a different game. Although, I want to say, I'm not going to jump into conclusions about Infinite Warfare because what if, and, and before you go bananas, you know, just think about this one second, what if the game makes something right? What if it makes, I'm not saying you have to go and buy the game, we're all going to judge and talk about the game once we see real multiplayer gameplay, once we see perks, once we see weapons, once we see, you know, score streaks, then I'll talk. But at, the, at, at this moment, where we just saw a trailer of a campaign, right, I, I'm just thinking, what if these guys do something right? 
What if this guy do something that makes the game more fun? Even though they say they're going full futuristic, what if they do something that makes the game fun? I don't know. Who knows? We'll see. I could be wrong, I could be right, you never know. You know, it could go 50-50. All I know is that we are going to be playing Battlefield 1. <laughs> no, but really, all joke aside. Um, another thing, they're going to release Call of Duty 4. Once again, you know, some people are excited, people are saying, well, we're paying for the game. Uh, what? It's like almost, you know, 10 years old a game, you know, that game is too old, we're paying again. Um, you know, better graphics or improved graphics, uh, not for you guys on PC, but for, you know, guys in console. Improved graphics, everything better, uh, I don't know, new servers, I don't know if it's going to be servers or whatever they're going to do, but hopefully, you know, we won't have any hackers. Um, you know, it's all fun because that, that's, that's, that's what we're, we're missing, the fun of the old days. So we're going to have the old days fun right now. So I'm, I'm thinking how many people will be playing Call of Duty 4 instead of Infinite Warfare? You know, if the game happens to be horrible, right? Infinite Warfare. If it happens to be bad, I think people will be playing Call of Duty 4 because um, we like the Call of Duty fix, right? You just go play some Call of Duty, some you know, fun stuff, you know, besides the battlefield. And uh, I think having Call of Duty 4 uh, as a reserve right there, I think it's a really good idea. So. Um, I think I think this is this is going to be a really good fall. You know, November, December is going to be very fun. We have a lot of games to choose from. Uh, whether you like Call of Duty or not, uh, whether, you, whether you like Battlefield or not, because some people don't like Battlefield, some people don't like Halo, some people don't like Gears of War. So I think it's a lot to choose from, and um, you know, it's all fun. But the, the the question that I ask myself, and and this is why I'm asking you, because I would like to know your opinion. Do you think Call of Duty Ghost 2? would have been a better idea instead of Infinite Warfare. So, I don't know, I'll just leave it up there for you to answer if you want to. So, Infinite Warfare versus Ghost. Which idea would be better for Call of Duty? You know, so... Um, this first Ghost was the very Modern Warfare, you know, like nothing... Nothing really new to the table, nothing really like game changing, nothing like, wow, this is, you know, this is cool. They added some new things here and there, but nothing nothing to 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 get us like crazy about the game nothing to 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 make us go and keep wanting to play this game like like we did you know with previous call of duty so changing things around uh map layouts i think weapons uh, weapons is all right you know would have been like a a better idea so maybe for ghost 2 you know for ghost 2 a a, a better I'm gonna say this, this is gonna sound kinda weird, but a, maybe a better version of like Modern Warfare 2 without the Commando but just with that same fast-paced, really cool map layout, multiplayer, destruction and nastiness you know, that would be like a really ghost too in my opinion but I, I also wanna see what they do in space what, what, what's the whole space is about, you know, like like are we gonna have like a lightsaber or something or like some like crazy, you know, weapon from the future, like who knows what they want to try to do, and and it, it's in a way it's kind of funny that they went to this direction because um, people and, and we all been saying this out loud in, in in videos that we do not want to go into the future. The future is being done too much, and 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 we need something something different, right? And these guys go and and, and go full, you know, futuristic game. So I don't know if they're trying to prove that they can make. A really good, and this is this is how I, I I feel about it. This is how I take it. They're trying to prove to everybody that they can make a really good futuristic game. That's how I take it. That they can make a really good futuristic game that people are going to love, despite what everybody's saying. So that's that's a big gamble right there. That's a big gamble, especially when you got uh, Battlefield One, you know, picking out and uh, it's looking really nasty. So. Um, is, once again, it's a big gamble from these guys, but I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt and I, I'm going to wait until, you know, we get to play some game, maybe maybe there will be a beta, maybe we, you know, but we'll be seeing multiplayer footage uh, pretty soon and I hope so, and uh, you know, we'll get to judge from there, but uh, until then I'm just giving the benefit of the doubt because, um, like I said, when I first saw the trailer and before I knew it was Call of Duty, um, that the campaign uh, it looked look cool to me I say wow this is cool and then oh it's Call of Duty oh <laughs> so that's that's why I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it the benefit of the doubt but 
uh, maybe Ghost 2 would have been a, a good idea. But the thing is, if they would announce Ghost 2, people would be like, oh, Ghost again, because the reception of Call of Duty Ghost, as we know, uh, it wasn't that great. But I think it wasn't as bad as what Infinite Warfare is experiencing right now. So these guys, in my opinion, are in a bit of a trouble right now and uh, the game better be good if they want to compete otherwise I think Battlefield 1 is going to destroy them twice because the you know that that's the way it's going to be I mean I'm pretty sure people are going to be playing this game um, I, I want to play the campaign I mean uh, in my opinion um, I, I do like the, the, the Call of Duty campaigns I always have fun with them um, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. You know, we'll be playing Call of Duty 4 for sure, and uh, that's going to be pretty fun. Once again, you know, better graphics, you know, no hackers, hopefully, and uh, you know, the, the, the whole business. But um, yeah, think about it. Infinite Warfare or Ghost 2? Which one will be the best, best idea for the uh, best not idea, no, no, but the best choice for these guys? And this is what this commentary is about. The two, Infinite Warfare, Ghost 2. Well, Infinite Warfare is happening. Ghost 2 is not happening. At least not now. Who knows? But that, that will be the, 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 the two, let's say, most hated games, you know, in in the Call of Duty history. Ghost, the first one, this one right here, and the Infinite Warfare by the looks of it. And, and, and by the way people are reacting, um, you know, it, it could be the two most hated games in the Call of Duty franchise. And they were made by Infinity War, so, wow. Um, who knows? Who knows? Well, we'll see what happens, but uh, I'm really looking forward to see more footage of it. And, uh, man, Ghost. I, I do like this map here in Call of Duty Ghost. I, I forget the name of it. Uh, I thought it was pretty cool, very interesting. And uh, the K7, this weapon that I'm using, uh, such a beast and, and, and so much so much fun to use. But um, by the way, this is an old gameplay. Uh, you know, this is not new by any means. An old gameplay that I had, and and I thought that you know with this commentary about the, the you know the Ghost 2 Infinite Warfare, and, you know, and, and, and you seeing some Call of Duty Ghost gameplay, you know, that will keep you like like your mind wondering okay what if a game like this one but with better this with better that you know would, would, would be like so i don't think it would be that bad but um so we'll see what happens with, with infinite warfare we'll see what it looks like the multiplayer and then we'll take it from there so anyways uh, thank you for watching my name is wild child hope you enjoyed this gameplay and this commentary and as always if you haven't uh, please check out my channel the videos and uh, i will see you on the next one thank you thank you for watching and don't forget which one's better? Oh, not the idea. Better. Infinite Warfare or Call of Duty Ghost? That sounds very interesting to me. Alright, I'll see you on the next video. Later.